All right, welcome everyone to our webinar. Uh, we're going to be talking all about SBA loans and uh, the PPP loans, uh, the Paycheck Protection Program. My name is Brock Blake. I'm the founder, co-founder and CEO of Lendio. And we're live here from our office in Lehigh, Utah. And we want to welcome all of the small business owners across the United States. We have thousands of you joining us uh, on this live webinar. Um, before we get into the details, I, I, I want to provide a little bit of background on Lendio and, uh, and then we'll talk about our overview and then we'll jump right into it. Um, Lendio is the largest marketplace in the U.S. for small business loans. We have 75 lenders on our platform and pre-COVID, uh, you would normally fill out one application and get access to many lenders and then be able to comparison shop the loan that's the best fit for you. We are so passionate about small business owners. Uh, we talk about here internally fueling the American dream, which means that uh, we all know that you need capital to get the, to, to fuel your dream, and our goal is to make that happen. Uh, we're in unprecedented times right now with this coronavirus and the spread, and uh, we recognize the impact it's having on every single person in America and especially our small business owners. You're the backbone of the economy. So much is dependent on you. Uh, you're the courageous few who go out and build and grow and hire employees and take risks. And right now, uh, every single one of us are going through some very, very difficult times and capital is on the forefront of our mind. Um, and I just wanna salute you. Uh, we, we are passionate about helping you and we're gonna do everything we can to put you in a position to succeed. Um, over the last little while, it's been a, a, a tough spot to be able to get capital. Um, lenders have paused, most lenders have paused lending. Uh, in fact, from two weeks ago to today, we're probably at 20% lending capacity across all of our 75 lenders. A lot of them have, have stopped lending and, and appropriately, appropriately so. We have to give them a little bit of break in, in that it's hard to price risk right now. It's hard to really understand which business owners they should approve and qualify and which they should decline. So a lot of them have just paused. Fortunately, there are options for you with this stimulus package, the CARES Act, uh, the Paycheck Protection Program. And we're gonna talk all about that uh, today. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna clarify a few things, the difference between the SBA loans and the PPP loans. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer to the, the Paycheck Protection Program as PPP loans. Um, Trump announced uh, a couple weeks ago a $50 billion allocation uh, to allow the SBA to fund these dis disaster loans. They're called Emergency Economic Injury uh, or Economic Injury Disaster Loans, IDLE. Uh, and the, that was the first thing that they announced and, and literally millions of small business owners uh, were directed to the SBA's website to apply for a loan. By the way, this disaster loan is different than the PPP loan, and I want to make sure I clarify that. These disaster loans, uh, we've, the, the SBA had their website up, millions started pounding on the website, and unfortunately, the website was crashing every single day. We heard from thousands of our small business owners saying, I'm trying to go to their website, it keeps crashing. Um, and I talked to a business owner that before it even started crashing was filling out uh, the application and it was a six hour process. Um, they've just been bombarded, completely overwhelmed um, with that application process. Uh, those, um, since there is actually, there's kind of uh, sad, uh, but we have to laugh in these tough times. Uh, and they actually took the site down and they were encouraging business owners to download the PDFs, fill it out by hand, scan the documents, and then upload or mail them back uh, to the SBA. Uh, so that's not, a, that's not a great process and you can imagine how long that's gonna take to, to get approved. Fortunately, since then, they've got their site back up and they've done two things that will help the small business owner get the financing that you need. The first is that the site is up and that's a win. Um, but the second is, is they've also approved what's called an emergency economic injury grant. This is really, really important for, I'm gonna walk through 
the, the, the details of the SBA product. But before I get to that, this is probably the most, one of the most important things you'll learn today is this economic uh, emergency injury grant. Because they realize that the SBA is going to take a long time to respond to these millions of applications. Um, and the SBA is literally processing every single one of those themselves. What they are doing is they are offering a $10,000 grant uh, to any business owner that applies for the EIDL loan on their website and they'll pay it within three days. That $10,000 um, is, is not a loan. It's a grant. It's basically free money. Uh, and so the first thing that we would encourage business owners to be able to do is to go to the SBA's website, look up the economic injury disaster loans. You can start applying for that product. And um, if when you complete the application, you can also complete uh, the, the, uh, the grant. And hopefully within, within three days, you'll be able to get approved for a $10,000 loan. Now let's talk about this uh, economic injury disaster loans. I've got some notes here. These loans uh, can be up to $2 million with it's a 3.75% uh, interest rate and it's a 10 year loan. Um, prior to this week, our guidance from the SBA was that those loans were going to be approved and they were gonna go through the same qualification criteria that you would normally uh, uh, be beholden to with an SBA loan. So they were going to be, there was a lot of documentation and there was going to be a long process and you needed to show good cash flow, collateral, uh, good credit score. Uh, they've softened those criteria just a little bit and they're not required, they need, they're, they're, they're using a few different qualifications to determine whether you're approved for a loan. It could be cash flow, it could be collateral, or it could be credit score. So you don't have to have all three. It sounds like, based on the guidance we're getting, is you really only need one of those. Be able to show you've got good cash flow, that uh, you have good credit score, or that you might have collateral. Obviously, that you're looking at these loans because you've had a negative impact from the coronavirus. Um, these loans are up to $2 million. Uh, to be eligible, you basically have to be a small business, which means you have 500 employees or less. Um, and that includes sole proprietorships, uh, in a, independent contractors, um, tribal small businesses, cooperatives, and, and employee-owned businesses. Uh, so the SBA product, $10,000 grant, it's gonna take a while. Don't expect that those loans are gonna happen overnight. That, that is not the PPP loan, um, and, but there's a great opportunity to be able to uh, get a disaster relief fund uh, loan from the SBA. My guess is it's probably gonna be 60 to 90 days before you would get approval and you would actually get, get funded on that loan. Uh, so that's one category. SBA, idle loan with the $10,000 grant. Reminder, go fill that out, $10,000, basically coming from the government that will help your business get through these difficult times. Okay. Now we're gonna move, and I realize there are a lot of questions. Um, we have questions streaming in. What we're gonna do is go through the details of the PPP loan, then we're gonna open it up to Q&A at the end. Uh, I've got a few team members here that are gonna help, because we have so many questions, they're gonna help moderate the, the questions set for me. We'll try and combine some of the common questions and then uh, and respond to that accordingly. I also have a uh, good team member of mine, Ethan, who, uh, Ethan Anson, who's our legal counsel, who knows all the technical requirements on all these loans. So if, if anyone stumps us, we, uh, we've got some backup. Hopefully he can, he can live up to it. Okay, so keep putting those questions in. We'll do our best to moderate it. Now we're gonna move to the Paycheck Protection Program. So fortunately, uh, the government passed the the, uh, we, we, the government passed the CARES Act. Uh, this was long awaited. We were working with other leaders in the industry to help give some guidance around this CARES Act. Um, I am I'm very optimistic around the CARES Act and how it will help small businesses. The CARES Act, they're calling this the Paycheck Protection Program. They've allocated $367 billion 
of loans that are dedicated to small businesses. This will allow any small business in America that proves that they are 500 employees or less um, and was in business prior to February 15th. That's the two criteria, 500 employees or less and in business before February 15th of 2020, you can be qualified for a paycheck, uh, the PPP loan, the Paycheck Protection Program. It's a tongue twister. Um, now, how do you qualify? Let me first of all say that these loans are not available yet today. The, SP, the SBA and the Treasury have not given guidance to the lenders on the exact documentation on how to process the loan. There's a lot of lenders out there saying apply for it. That just means that you know you're, if you're applying, you're signing up saying you're interested and then they're gonna get back to you when it's actually available. But it's not available today. We're all waiting for additional guidance. The guidance that we have right now is that these loans, the, the amount of the loan will be, it's a formula. Basically, you take your average monthly payroll um, if you've been, been in business for a year, you take your you look at the last 12 months, take the average monthly payroll, and you times that by 2.5, and that will be the loan size. Uh, payroll can include that that includes independent contractors, uh, that includes um, all sorts of compensation, salary, wage, commission, similar compensation. Um, and, and healthcare benefits, insurance premiums, all of those things can be included in your calculation of your average monthly payroll. What cannot be included in your average monthly payroll is any payroll costs above 100,000. So this is, a, this is an important point for people to understand. Let's say I have 10 employees and two of them uh, make over 100,000. For those two employees, the average monthly payroll, I can only calculate up to 100,000. I can't include anything over that. So if their salary was 120, normally their monthly payroll would be, divide that by 12, that would be $10,000. But since you can't include anything above 100,000, you basically have to take 100,000, divide it by 12, and you can include $8,333. Um, as, as part of their average monthly payroll. Some people thought if they, if they make over 100,000, we have to remove them entirely from the calculation and that's not accurate. You actually can use up to $8,333 of their salary in the monthly calculation. So that's the loan amount, two and a half times your average monthly payroll uh, that you can qualify for. Um, much of these loans, uh, will actually be forgiven. And how do, you, how do you determine what percentage will be forgiven? So any amount of that loan that you use from the day you get the loan over the next eight weeks to cover salary, um, monthly rent, utilities, uh, mortgage interest, and I think that's it, is that right? That's everything, yep. So any of those things during the eight week period after you get the loan can be forgiven. So you won't actually have to pay that back. Um, now, it's not forgiven automatically. There's gonna be a process that the SBA is gonna define where after those eight weeks, you can reach back out to the, the lender that you worked with and apply for the forgiveness and you'll have to document all of those expenses over those eight weeks. So it's gonna be critical once you get this loan, uh, you need to make sure you're keeping track of those expenses and you have good record keeping uh, because part of the application to, to, to get reimbursed, you'll need that documentation. So reminder, payroll, monthly rent, utilities, mortgage, interest, all can be forgiven from the time you get to the loan for eight weeks. So many, many people are asking, well, where do I get the loan? The, uh, the SBA and the Treasury has given guidance over the weekend that it's likely almost any lender in America will actually be able to be approved to fund the loan. So this includes banks and credit unions 
and fintech lenders. Um, and but again, it's they're not funding loans yet. Uh, we no, they haven't given the guidance, and they actually haven't hit the the go button um, for uh, for lenders to lend. My guess is that will start next week on Monday. Uh, so you could prepare yourself for that. Um, let me just see if there are any other questions. Oh, yes. Let's talk about the terms of the loan. So you know what the loan size will be. It will be two and a half times your average monthly payroll. These, the, the maximum turn on the loan, the term on the loans is going to be 10 years and the rate will be 4%. Um, but that, those payments will be deferred for uh, six months and there's zero loan fees and zero prepayment fee on these loans. So essentially what that means is once you get the loan for six months, you won't actually have to pay any principal or interest. Some of that will, will be forgiven. After that, it will start amortizing at a 4% rate over 10 years until you pay off that loan. Um, knowing that you're only paying the difference between um, what was, there's, there's a portion of that can all obviously be forgiven, which we've talked about. So 4% rate, 10 years um, that, that you'll pay on uh, above and beyond what, whatever was, was forgiven. Um, that's the overview. Um, the, oh, a, couple other, a couple other points I'll, I'll make and then we'll go to questions because I know it looks like there are about a million questions on here. This PPP program right now is approved from whenever it launches, which again, I think will be Monday, until June 30th of 2020. So you have three months approximately to be able to apply for and get approved for these loans. Because most lenders in America will be able to approve these loans, uh, the anticipation will be that you'll be able to apply and get approved um, and likely funded same day or within 24 to 48 hours. That's, that's my estimation. Some banks might take a little bit longer uh, in that process. So uh, we definitely know there's gonna be a few things that are needed for your application process. You're gonna, be able, you're gonna have to document your payroll costs. Um, so that's one thing, like people are asking, what can I do now? I want the loan as soon as possible, what can I do now? The first thing you can do is you can, you can go back and you can start documenting your payroll costs. That's gonna be required. Um, so there's, there's uh, tax documents you can use for that. Hopefully they're gonna allow for uh, statements that you can get from your payroll provider. Um, you're gonna have to prove that you're in, you were in business before February 15th. So any documentation that you can show, whether it's a business license or other documentation to prove that you were in business uh, and then there will be other uh, documentation that we're all waiting on that will be guided by the SBA and we still haven't got received that guidance yet. So hopefully we've given you an overview. I know I've thrown a lot at you. We've talked about SBA loans, those are different. Um, we talked about the $10,000 uh, idle grant uh, that you can get if you go apply for the SBA loan. Make sure you do that. It's basically free money from the government. And then we've talked about the PPP loans. PPP loans are not available. They'll become available on Monday. All right, let's, I, I keep saying Monday, that's my hope. It may not be mo Monday. We're working with the federal government here. Um, so we're all waiting on them. So I'm gonna have uh, Stephanie, who's our, just been monitoring this stream of questions and uh, give a, send me a, a few my way. Okay. Um, would you mind going over just the quick process of the $10,000 grant uh, one more time and how to go about getting that? Great. So the $10,000 grant is critical because from what I understand, we were on a call yesterday with Senator Mitt Romney and he said that there's a certain amount allocated for the $10,000 grant and once that amount has been distributed, they're not going to keep giving the $10,000 grant. So there is, the time is of the essence on that $10,000 grant. You can go to the SBA's website or Google it. Google economic injury disaster loan. Go to the website, fill, you gotta fill out the entire 
economic injury disaster loan. And part of that application process, you'll see it talks about the $10,000 grant. You, you want to check to make sure that you can get access to that. From our understanding is once you complete that application, within three days, you'll be approved for the $10,000 grant and they will send you, they'll send you money. Um, and that's what we understand. Uh, we ju they just announced this on Sunday night and uh, we're still trying to get confirmation ourselves from someone who's gone through the process and got the money. But that was the guidance we received just yesterday from Senator uh, Mitt Romney. All right, a lot of questions around 1099 employees. Uh, can they be part of your payroll cost and how you go about um, getting a PPP? Great question. So 1099 independent contractors are included in the calculation of uh, the payroll. So two and a half times payroll plus 1099 contractors is, uh, is how it is calculated, yes. And are there, um, are there stipulations around certain entities that can apply for these loans, like an LLC or sole prop, any kind of anything around that? No, there are no restrictions. Um, so this includes, um, like I said, sole proprietors, independent contractors, uh, nonprofit organizations all will qualify really any type of entity that we, we, we haven't there's no restrictions around the type of entity just that the business was in business prior to February 15 uh, 2020 and they have less than 500 employees um, so there aren't other restrictions that uh, were that we're aware of can you talk about um, the, and just go over a little bit more about any of the documents that you have to have in place? Will they be looking at credit score or anything like that um, to be able to determine qualification? So the, the PPP loans, there's no credit score. Uh, you're not filling out bank statements. You're not looking at uh, tax returns. They're not doing a cash flow analysis. It's not doing any of those traditional things that we normally do when you're applying for a loan. You, but think about to do the calculation the two and a half times, you have to be able to document payroll. So the, and, and tax documents to document payroll are probably the most legitimate documents that you can, you can use. I think it's called the 941, is that correct? The quarterly payroll uh, tax filing 941 is that correct um, so if i were you i would start preparing getting that documentation needed but that's you just have to prove that you have less than 500 employees were in business before, prior to february 15th and you have to prove your average monthly payroll so that those are the only criteria that we are aware of um, uh, to actually get approved for this loan if you've already filled out a form for the economic injury disaster loan, can you still apply for the PPP? Oh, this is a great question. So a lot of people are asking, well, right, I need money today. I, you know, I've got business revenue has dropped dramatically. I'm already having to maybe I've made payroll uh, cuts um, and, and, and furloughs and other things like that. We, we get it. We totally understand. And the money cannot come soon enough. Um, but loans that you get between now and the PPP loans, um, it, it, they will not prevent you from getting the PPP loan. In fact, if you get an idle loan, but prior to getting a PPP loan, I don't think that'll happen. But if you do, that amount can be rolled into the PPP loan um, and they'll, they'll, they'll consolidate them together. Um, so I don't be worried about, uh, you know, should I get a loan or will, will it screw up, you know, my ability to, to get the PPP loan. You, you, uh, you can go and get capital today and, you, and it won't prevent you. Um, I will say though, there is, let's talk about the, there is another question that, that has come up a lot around the, um, the reimbursement and the forgiveness amount. If you let go of employees between now and um, the time or f from the time that the, the coronavirus hit and the time that you get the loan, um, 
it will have a negative effect on the amount that you can be forgiven. And um, there is a calculation around that. I'm not going to get into the technicalities of that calculation right now. But if that has happened, you may it may reduce the amount that you can be forgiven. Uh, if you hire them back, then the reduction is removed. Um, and, and you might have to do that just to get to, to get through you know these difficult times. But just know that if you lay people off, your forgiveness amount may be reduced. How quickly can people expect to get the funds after they qualify? So time to funding is going to vary depending on the product. So again, the, the idle SBA loan, um, I would anticipate that being 60 to 90 days. Uh, and that's optimistic that the SBA is so overwhelmed with applications. They don't have all the lenders helping process those loans. And so they're just bombarded. Um, so that's, that's that time frame. Now on the PPP loans, I would, depending on the lender and their, and their process and their technology savviness, I can see the PPP loan being funded with same day, uh, all the way up to maybe within a week. Uh, from application of funding, depending on how overwhelmed that lender is. Uh, so it, the PPP loans will, should, should be processed fairly, fairly quickly. Let me also just mention, uh, there, was a, there was a question in here about can you get two PPP loans? That is one of the criteria as well, that if you get a PPP loan, you can't go and apply with a different lender for a second PPP loan. Um, and so there's documentation or, around that as well. You can't, no double dipping. What if you have two businesses that have been impacted? Could you go then get two PPP loans for each of those? Yes, you can get a PPP loan for the unique businesses that you might own. Um, I have a friend that I, was, uh, that I was talking to this morning. He said, I have multiple businesses that I run um, can I get a PPP loan for each of them individually? If each of them are, you can prove that they were in business prior to February 15th, you have documentation around payroll, documentation that they are separate entities and they are less than 500 employees, you can get PPP loan for each individual entity, entity that you might own. Yes. What if you are a, a newer startup, maybe that started at the beginning of the year, you don't have any employees, could you still um, could you still qualify? Yeah, great question. So, if you are a sole prop and you don't have any employees, uh, as long as you were in business prior to February fifteenth, you will still get approved for the loan. It will be they will look at your payroll. Um, uh, they'll look at the, the January and February. They'll take the average between the two of those months and that you'll take that and times it by two. So whatever you paid yourself during those two months as far as payroll, uh, take the average of the two and then times it by two and a half. And, and that will be, uh, you'll be approved for that, yes. Will there, will there be three separate applications for the various loans that you've talked about? So grants um, and then the PPP and the other one, are those three separate applications? They, there are two separate applications, the grant and the SBA economic disaster loan are the same application. Um, I, I think that's interesting because basically the SBA were, they were so overwhelmed last week that their system shut down and they had hundreds of thousands of business owners frustrated. And so they said, well, this is how we're going to solve it. We're going to make sure our website works first of all, and then we're going to pay everyone $10,000 because we're so far behind. Um, and, and that's the reality. So, so take advantage of it. Go sign up um, and and uh, fill out the application on the economic disaster. And 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 that at the same time you're applying for the ten thousand dollar grant. All right. We have a lot of questions around. Can owner compensation be part of your payroll as you calculate that? It is our understanding that owner compensation uh, will be a part of the calculation of payroll up to $100,000. Um, so if you, again, if you make more than $100,000, you can only count up to $100,000, which that monthly amount is $83,33. Um, that's the maximum amount you can, you can count per
per person. Awesome. Um, there are a lot of questions and we will do our best to hopefully there's uh, specific questions around specific industries. Do you have any industry that is um, that is it won't qualify or anything like that that you can speak of? There's no industry restrictions. Uh, there's no time in business restrictions. Uh, there are no, um, I mean, it's, it's essentially those criteria. Prove that you've got five, less than 500 employees and you're in business before February 15th uh, and you can get, and you don't already have a PPP loan uh, and, and you can get approved. And our goal at Lendio, just so you know, we're doing this webinar because we want to make sure that everyone is aware of all the details. But we, we, the same 75 lenders that were funding loans prior to this are also the lenders that are going to be able to pr approve these PPP loans. Um, and what we're doing is navigating the, their bandwidth on the back end. Um, and those that can process the loans the fastest and fund the loans the fastest, we're going to help our business owners navigate to them so that, that uh, we make it easy for you on, that, uh, on the application process. So yes, I know there's a lot of questions around asking, well, tell me what is Lendio, what's your role? Are you approved Lendio, lender? We're not a lender, um, but we work with all the lenders and we're gonna, we help, we're your advocate for the business owner. We're gonna make sure you've got all the documentation right. We're gonna make, identify which lender is gonna process the loans the most efficiently because all the loan sizes are gonna be the same no matter what lender you go to. And then we're gonna make sure that we handhold you, you through that process to, to get the loan that you need, that PPP loan. Um, so uh, we're waiting the guidance from the SBA, but that's gonna be our goal as soon as that happens. And you can, you can go to Lendio's website and we'll, we've got a page there that says sign up for alerts. The minute that it, it turns on, they start funding loans, we're gonna reach out to every single one of those customers and say, okay, it's eligible, come back, let's, let's work with you to, to, to make sure you get your PPP loan. Um, so that's, people are asking kind of what's our role, that's how we're, we're, we're gonna be your advocate from the borrower and guide you through that lender process. Uh, one more question about Lendio. Are, will Lendio be doing other types of lending during this time? Yes, um, there are lenders that are still lending and with the business owners getting their PPP loan, it will add a stable footing, hopefully to the backbone of these small businesses and then lenders will be able to lend. A, so you, you can get another loan above and beyond the PPP loan. Um, so that's equipment loans or cash flow loans or real estate loans. Um, and so we think about this as what is your, what is, what's your entire borrower life, uh, borrowing life cycle? If you need a loan today for PPP, great. What if you need a loan in three months or one month or six months? Well, let's help. We're going to guide you through that process as well. So you can um, not only get what you, the PPP loan today, but any other loan products that you need in the future. Great question. One last question for you, Brock, as a small business owner yourself and all of these small business owners that are going through this, what type of advice would you give um, kind of all of the people on the webinar? Um, what would you give, what would you say to them at this moment in time? Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad you asked this question. I was gonna hit on this uh, at some point that we are going through this together. Uh, it's a new world from two weeks ago and all of us are scrambling, trying to figure out how do we solve this problem? Um, you know, I, I, my revenue has decreased and I, and I don't want to let people go, but how do I, how do I manage that? And um, so um, I'll just give you a few pieces of, of guidance from my perspective um, and take it for what it's worth. But, you know, every, anything that you can do, first of all, to think about, to be creative and think about the opportunity that might come um, from this. So a lot of times we're so focused on the disaster side of, of everything that's happened and how we've been negatively impacted. I do believe there's an opportunity for most businesses to say, how can I make the most of this? We're, and we're seeing creative things. Restaurant owners are, are getting very creative on takeout and home delivery and um, packages for stay at home employees. Hotels are getting creative around other, like uh, I've seen more, more overseas than here, 
where they've, they've got um, quarantines from coronavirus or they've got, they're using hotels for shelters for individuals um, or they're figuring out other ways to drive revenue. I've seen businesses that are going to their, their best customers and selling gift cards saying, I know you can't get that product today, but if you buy a gift card today, that can help give me some cash to just make it through this tough time and then come back and use that later. Um, so getting creative um, and trying to look at the positive, preserving cash, uh, working with your team members, maybe you put them on furlough if you, if you need to, if you need to. Uh, going to lenders and asking for um, payment plans like workout programs, loan modification. Almost every single lender in America is would way rather do a loan modification than have you go into default. Going to your landlord and asking for relief like can you give me a few months. Most landlords are prepared for these situations and they know this is part of it. Um, not everyone but to go and, and say, hey, can you give me some relief for a few months so I can reduce my, 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 uh, my lease or rent payment. So those are some things that you can do. Um, and maybe we've tried all those and we're still not making ends meet. Um, hopefully you can stay, in, you know, stay with it long enough to get this pay PPP loan. Um, and we can get you back on your feet until people can get back out of their houses and, and get the economy going again. Okay, one last, sorry, I know that I think I said that was the last question, but quite a few questions around what kind of fees are we going to charge as Lendio to be able to process uh, a loan like this? Great question. So these, the, these are not, um, just like always, when we go through this experience with our customers, uh, it's a free experience, we get paid by the lender. N same thing here. Business owners are gonna come on, they're gonna sign up, we're gonna help and guide you. We're gonna place you with a lender and the lender will pay us uh, as part of their origination fee on the back end. Um, so we have every reason to help get you the loan and no reason for you not to use Lendio because that's, um, uh, you know, we're, and, and I don't want it to be a commercial lot. We're trying to help you, but our goal is to make sure you can navigate through that process because it's, there's a lot of questions Make sure you get all the documentation and then submit you to the right lenders so it happens as most efficiently as possible. And then we'll, um, just one more time, where can they sign up for alerts uh, to be able to just have the most up-to-date information as we get it? Yeah, um, we, you can go on to uh, Lendio.com. You can see on the page it says the, the Paycheck Protection uh, Loan Program. You can sign up there and then we'll alert you around the details of you know, when this gets announced, when it gets released, the funds get released and, and some of those uh, information. There was a question on here that I just saw through my screen. I have to hit there. It said, well, how do you, how do you make money on the grants or the SBA loans? We don't. Um, we, I, I just want you to be able to get those grants on those SBA loans because I want you to be in business. Uh, we'll help you on all the other things, but the economic disaster loans that are available, normal SBA loans, we can help you. The economic disaster loans that are available, the $10,000 grant, there's no benefit to Lendio. I just wanna make sure that you get the loan that you need to, to stay in business and, and take care of your, your uh, team members. There's a lot of, a lot of questions. Lot of questions. <laughs> Hopefully we cover most of them. Yeah, I, you know, this will be recorded and on the Lendio channel, so feel free to go back and view it. Um, and then as you guys have more questions, Lendio is going to do its best to be able to provide resources for you to go and, and get your questions answered. Yeah, so we've increased the size of our content team. We've doubled the size of our content team for this, for this period, um, which was a, 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 and the reason why we're trying to pop, we're trying to push as much information to you as we possibly can as quickly as it comes. So stay close to our blog. You can sign up for alerts. We'll alert you on any news and information. Um, and, uh, and, and, and we'll get you that information as possible. I just, I salute every single one of you. Um, you are the backbone of the economy. I, I, there's so much angst and fear and pain that you're going through. We feel it. Um, our goal is to take some of that off your shoulders and help you through this process. So you can, the loan process is easy and you can get back to, to focusing on your business. 
wish you the best of luck. Uh, we're gonna keep this, uh, this webinar on Lendio's YouTube, so you can go back and go through any of the, the details. You can share it with your friends uh, that also have questions, and then come back and see us uh, when, when you need a loan. Thanks, best of luck. Let's make, this, let's, uh, let's make it through this difficult time so each of us can continue to chase our American dream. Thanks everyone, good luck.